Hi everyone, happy Saturday. So I just wanted to show you a few bits that I quickly picked up from Tesco's and then I also got a few bits from the Home Bargains. Nothing exciting. Literally just got the roll, the crunch corner for Theo. I got some wraps because I'm going to do wraps for lunch. I got some more sauerkraut. I'm going to talk about this in a bit more detail. I don't know if I've mentioned it on my channel yet, but I have like a spoonful or like a fork full of sauerkraut every single morning and I swear this has helped with my stomach issues. I am someone that is renowned for having a stomach ache a lot of the time and my stomach is very sensitive. I've noticed since I've started having this, my stomach aches were very, very infrequent and I was having a lot less and barely any if like I hadn't had something that kind of sets my stomach off. So I've been really enjoying having this. I've actually gone through an entire jar already. So I'm just replenishing with a new one and this is the brand that I get and it's really nice, tastes good and it seems to be doing an effective job. Then I needed to get some apple juice for my son. I feel like I just get the same stuff every single shop. Got some rice, just some bad mochi for dinner because I feel like being lazy later, can't bother to cook it. Then I've got some honey because I have honey on everything. Some garlic apples and then some chewing gum. So now I'm going to show you the more interesting things that I got from Home Bargain. So I didn't get too, too many things. I got these rice cakes. These are rice cakes with like a thin layer of dark chocolate on top. They're a Polish brand, I believe. And they are the best rice cakes you'll ever try. If you have a home bargains near you, I suggest going and trying these because they are phenomenal. Then I just wanted to get my son a new, he's laughing at one of his shows. I wanted to get my son a new toothbrush just because I like to change them frequently. Um, his one was looking a little bit old and he didn't want to go for a new style. He wanted the exact same one. So I literally just got him the same one that he's got now, but just a fresh one. Picked up these, this is literally just at the entrance. I wanted to get some new flannels and I thought it would be cute this time around to get a pink and a blue one. So one for me and one for my son. So yeah, girls one and boys one. I just thought that was really sweet. And we needed new um, flannels anyway, because ours are looking a little bit beat up. Then I needed to get some more shampoo and conditioner because I've just run out of mine. So I got the L'Oreal El Vive one last time, but I got the one in the purple bottle. I can't remember what that one is meant for, but this one in the like turquoisey bottle, this one is a thickening shampoo, which I'm all about thickening my hair up because I have very thin hair. So I'm gonna see how this works on my hair. I'm hoping that it doesn't leave like a lot of buildup on my hair or any kind of like residue. So we shall see, but I got the shampoo and conditioner. They were really inexpensive as well. I think they're only like £2.50 each. Then by the till, I always get like my chewing gum and my mints there. These are the mints, I believe they are. Yeah, the sugar-free ones. And then just some extra, what's this flavor? It's the peppermint one. I always have the peppermint, not the spearmint. I feel like the spearmint doesn't last. It's fallen out of the packaging now, but I got a new day cream. This is just the Garnier Vitamin C Brightening Day Cream. Needed a new day cream and I'm all about brightening my skin at the moment and I'm really liking vitamin C products. Vitamin C has actually done a lot for my skin. I've been using a vitamin C cleanser recently and I've noticed a lot of diminishment in the pigmentation of my like old breakouts. So I'm going to stick with that and I'm going to start using this because my moisturizer is very, very nearly out. So I needed to get one for the next couple days. And then the last thing that I got, so today is actually the first day in a while in the UK where the weather's been like a little bit rainy and a little bit dull and a bit colder. The temperature has dropped a lot. Whereas before I was honestly like a little baked potato for the last week and the cold weather just inspired me to splurge and get a candle. I've done it. I've bought my first autumnal candle <laughs> and I cannot believe I've done it so early, but hey ho. And I just felt really compelled to get it. So this is the pumpkin chai. It smells really good. It was really inexpensive. I think it was under three pounds and it's a really big size candle as well. So this is going to go on the side table next to my sofa and best believe I'm going to burn it in just one second because I want my home to smell like pumpkin chai. So for the rest of the day, I'm just going to make up some lunch. I'm going to do some activities with my son. This morning he got, I'll show you, this book from Waterstones. So we're going to do some maths slash like practicing his numbers. Basically you can practice your numbers on this side and then we've got this bit here. So it says like who has zero balloons, um, circle the cake with one candle, stuff like that. So he's really good at spotting things like this and we've already done a few and he's actually got them right. 
but I think it'd be good for him to like start practicing because we don't really do any writing or drawing practice per se. I mean, he draws like on paper and he draws on his chalkboard and stuff, but I think it's important that he starts trying to like use a pen and pencil and like draw his numbers and letters and stuff like that. And also it's just something to get his brain engaged without a screen. And I'm giving him a screen time now, but that's not gonna be for too much longer. So yeah, I'm gonna pack all this away, make some lunch, do some maths and then I'm gonna pack up his stuff. He's actually staying with his dad tonight and then he's actually off to Oxford tomorrow. So I'm solo dolo this weekend. So yeah, I'm gonna try and plan out a few things to do tomorrow. I need to go through multiple cupboards in my house because, would you like to see my face? There we go. I'm just making it love. Um, I need to go through multiple cupboards and clean them out. I need to find my passport so that I can get my passport number because I wanna renew my passport and I just don't know where it is and I've got so much clutter, but the big um, like long cupboard that's by my front door is just absolutely jam packed full of stuff you can't even get in there. And it might potentially be in there, maybe my suitcase or in like one of the bags that I've just chucked in there, kind of like to just keep it out of sight. Um, Cause I still got stuff that I haven't unpacked from when I moved in like nearly two years ago. So it could potentially be in there, but I really want to find it because I don't know where else it could be. So yeah, I might do that tomorrow. But we shall see. I'm definitely going to start off the morning by going to the gym. I'm looking forward to this weekend. Not because I haven't got my son, but I'm just, yeah, looking forward to having like a little bit of a rest. I know what to expect now, so I know he's going to be okay. So I feel like this time I can actually enjoy it. Whereas last time he stayed at his dad's, I was literally so on edge all night. I just, I couldn't sit still. I was very kind of like antsy. So yeah, this time I think I'll actually be able to really enjoy it and actually maybe sleep a little bit better so fingers crossed Hello everyone, happy Friday. So I just got back from Tesco's. I did a quick food shop this morning and then I needed to get back for a delivery because Theo's new bed is actually being delivered today, although it's actually already been delivered. Um, I've started my nails yesterday, like I put a fresh set on, but I still need to like neaten them all up and then paint them. So that's the job for today. Maybe when Theo's in bed, but I thought I would just quickly show you what I picked up from Tesco's. So, First thing, I went to the pharmacy because I had to get Theo a repeat prescription of Cosmicol. Any parents out there that have a, has a kid that doesn't like going to the bathroom may potentially know what that is. Got some baked cheese and onion chips. Beef, I've gone for the 5% stuff this time around because I made it last time and it was really tasty. Spaghetti, because Theo wants spaghetti for dinner tonight. Pickled gherkins. Beef stock cubes. Wraps and no added sugar bolognese sauce. I swear by these, they're so good. Grapes, honey roast ham slices. I don't get any more than this because we don't seem to get through it quick enough. Then I just got Theo some fish fingers. He loves fish fingers. My favorite cereal bars, the deliciously Ella one. Oat milk, for any of my oat milk gals and guys out there, this is the best one. It's the Oatly Barista Edition. It's the creamiest one and the one that tastes the best. And some chocolate spread for morning toast. I've got some pan of chocolates. These are just really handy because they individually wrap, so I can like put them in a lunch box for my son, or just like grab one if I'm in a rush and we're on the go. Greek style yogurt, oranges, lemons, apples, and panty liners. So after I've put all of this away and tidied up, I'm going to start putting Theo's bed together, and then I'll show you that when it's done.
happy Monday. So today is going to be an absolute scorcher. Plan of action for today. As you can see, I'm in my swimsuit already. No makeup. I've literally just chucked my hair up in a ponytail because me and Bubs are going to, well, basically have some friends that are out of town at the moment. My son's dad is actually house sitting for some friends at the moment and they have a puppy. It's a really, really hot day and he's actually gonna be working all day and I offered to go in and check up on the dog, obviously because it's gonna be by itself all day. So me and Theo are actually gonna go and spend the day over at their house and obviously have some puppy snuggles. They also have a little hot tub, so we're gonna go in there, hence why I'm in my swimsuit. And I'm really excited for the day. It's gonna be nice because today it's gonna to get up to 32 in the UK and I'm just, I don't know if anyone else is the same as me, but I'm an autumn winter girl and I struggle. I struggle in the heat. It makes me really lethargic. I don't wanna do anything apart from eat and sleep, not even eat actually, like it's affected my appetite. I did a breakfast this morning, couldn't even finish it because it's just so darn hot and I can't sleep properly because it's hot. So I'm really looking forward to when the weather maybe like drops off a little bit. Goes a bit more cool because this hot weather is just not for me. I like it kind of like 21, 22, that's fine. But when it's like scorching, I mean, right now it's early on in the day and it's already at 24 and by four o'clock it's going to be at 32. So yeah, we're going to go and take advantage of the hot tub and try and stay cool also i'm in an apartment so it's really hot here usually what i do is i just keep the curtains closed but it's just it's horrible having to like be not in the dark because obviously i put the lights on but it's not nice not having kind of like natural sunlight coming through because i have to keep the sun out to keep the apartment cool but even that doesn't really work it's just so so hot in here so to go and be in a house will be really really nice and then obviously having the use of the hot tub will be really nice too so i've just packed a bag for us really quickly spare clothes some snacks and stuff like that and i'm gonna head on over there in a second and i thought i'd take you guys along because i obviously want to share the super cute puppy yesterday was a really nice day my son was with his dad for the day and i went to the gym in the morning came back made some food tidied up i can't really remember what i did when i got back i had a nap which was like a rare luxury and then um, I actually went and got gelato and went for a really nice walk, sat in the Abbey Gardens. It was just a really, really nice day. So yeah, I mean, there are some perks to the weather being like this, like you can go and have like nice sunny walks, but even the walk home, like I was just so tacky and sticky and sweaty. So I've got crackers in the bed, if you can see. My son woke up at half three this morning, was like, I'm hungry and thirsty. So I gave him some crackers and some water and then he managed to get back to sleep, which was nice. So yeah, I just thought I'd really quickly intro the day and just let you guys know what I'm doing. And let's have a fun day in the sun together. happy thursday so i just wanted to jump on here really quickly and do a random grocery haul wasn't planning on doing this but i needed to do a food shop so i quickly popped into tesco's it's been a very busy morning but we'll talk about that in a little while so i'll just quickly show you the freezer bits that i got i got steak cut oven chips this time i thought it'd be nice to try like a thicker cut chip then for some more freezer bits i got these frozen whole green beans and then some petit pois then i got some steak mints this is just the five percent fat and i got two of those just because i like to do spaghetti bolognese 
lasagnas, burgers, things like that. Then I got some white pitters for lunches, some brioche buns for burgers. Obviously, I can't have anything other than brioche buns. They're just the best buns ever. Um, then moving over here, we've just got a few bits for smoothies. I did pick up some fruit yesterday from the market that we have in our town, so I didn't need too much. But I got apples, oranges, and grapes. I then got some sultanas because I put them in my breakfast when I have my muesli I just think it's nice to have like a little extra something even though it does have raisins in it they don't come with too much and I love it when you find like a random raisin so I thought I'd just grab some sultanas then I got a no added sugar bolognese sauce it's literally just like tomatoes and herbs so I love that fact love doing this like for spag bol when I'm kind of low on time and I just need to get like a quick dinner made it's really tasty my son will eat it and it's also relatively healthy. Then moving on to snacks, we've got some milk chocolate. I just grabbed like the Tesco's and I'm not really too precious about the chocolate that I have, but I bought some really incredible strawberries from the market yesterday and I wanna do chocolate covered strawberries. Then I've got the deliciously Ella apple and raisin oat bars. I get these literally every time I go shopping in Tesco's because they're so good. If you haven't tried them, try them, please, I beg you. Then I've got some pombos for my son. He likes the regular salty ones, but his favorite are the cheese and onion. Got some eggs because I eat eggs every single day. Lou roll, really basic and boring. Then I've got some apple and mango juice for my son. This is a really good one. It's just the Tesco's own brand. It's two pounds and it's literally just pressed fruit. So really love that fact. And then I got these to try, these Haribo soda twists because I'm potentially going to the cinema this weekend. So thought it would be nice to have a really cool, yummy snack. And I've never tried these before. So yeah, I'm excited to try. So I'm going to do a quick unboxing with you guys. And then I'm going to get on and do the chocolate covered strawberries because I know they're going to need a ton of time to set. So hopefully I'll be able to have a few after dinner this evening. Hello, you can now see my face. I didn't want to show my face because I just feel tired today. I kid you not, I was up about 10 times in the night last night. And then I've obviously been running ragged today. I've been so busy. I went to the gym, met a friend for coffee, which was so incredible. I absolutely love meeting this particular friend. She's just, I don't even know how to describe her. She's just delicious. She's honestly the best. Um, and then I went and picked up my parcel, which I'm about to unbox with you guys. And I picked it up from someone who has a puppy who was very excited to see me. So my hair looked a little bit disheveled because I was getting pulled around by my ponytail. Um, and jumped all over and licked and kissed and yeah I feel just a little bit disgusting now because I've got puppy slobber all over me but I did want to come on camera and really quickly unbox this bag with you guys because I'm going to do the sit down video for it today and this could be one of two or three bags that I'm expecting I think by the box I can tell who it's from I think this is from Babbler the video will already be live by the time you're watching this vlog because my vlogs are backdated. So I thought it would be fun to unbox it on the vlog just because I wanted to open it and see what it was before I actually did the handbag video or should I save it for an unboxing? Do you know what? I'm going to be really annoying. And if you do want to see the unboxing of this, I'm actually going to shamelessly plug the dedicated video for this. So yeah, I'm actually going to do an unboxing, not a review because there's not really too much time for me to actually use the bag and do a full review. So I think for this particular video, I'm going to do an unboxing. So, any guesses? It's such a tease. But yeah, the video will be live on my channel already. And if you want to check it out, then it'll be on my handbags playlist. So make sure to check it out. Okay, so now I think we're going to do some chocolate covered strawberries. And then I'm going to freshen up and then I'm going to film. I also need to fix a nail because I, I don't know if you can see that, but I chipped it earlier and it's really frustrating me. Like I could, I can just, I know it's there now, so I can't really like get by without fixing that. I know it's like definitely not the end of the world, but I can't focus and especially have a video where my hands are going to be on show knowing that my nail is chipped. So I'll fix that after the strawberries. Mm -hmm. 